Hi guys and welcome to this quick video where we're going to take a look at Bulletproof Coffee invented by Mr. David Asprey of the bulletproofexec.com um, It's something that I and the team at apehacking.com uh, drink regularly instead of uh, a breakfast meal essentially um, It helps with ketosis and a bunch of other things that we're going to look at in uh, a bit more detail now So what is Bulletproof Coffee? The essential ingredients are upgraded coffee beans and yes these can be replaced with other high quality coffee beans which we'll go into shortly mct oil so medium chain triglyceride oil which comes from coconuts again we'll go into that in a bit more detail and then grass-fed butter sounds disgusting i realize but it is really creamy really thick and nice and there's a, an image of uh, a cup that we brewed a little while ago so upgraded coffee beans so the promoted and marketed as being the lowest mold toxin levels available um, they taste good but the main reason why i like them particularly is because i don't get that crash after um, i have a cup of coffee so usually you get up you have a cup of coffee and it's worse with the instant like nonsense you have a cup of coffee you feel pretty good then you get a headache and you feel like absolute crap afterwards that doesn't happen with these beans. Um, we do sell them up at upgradedate.co.uk, but this is by no means a, a promotion for them. Um, you can use other beans. So I also like using beans from a company called Grumpy Mule in the UK. So they do single source beans, um, similar to the upgraded beans, and they work pretty much just as well. Um, and they're a lot cheaper. So obviously within your coffee, upgraded bulletproof coffee you're going to have some some kind of coffee in there otherwise it's going to be some mank mixture of oil um, next the next ingredient is mct oil so medium train chain tried just glad the medium chain triglycerides these are extracted from coconut oil you can also use coconut oil but it's not as effective and i find that it makes a drink a little bit greasy um, last thing I read, although I've never seen a firm number from this from ca any kind of scientific evidence, but the last thing I read was coconut oil is around about 60% MTC oil anyway. What does it do? So it improves mental performance in that the the fats, the medium chain fats, I think they're between C8 and 10 for any uh, fellow chemists out there, they don't need digesting. Uh, there's a quite a few steps that go through breaking down fats um, into usable chunks and these can essentially instantly be used by the body and the brain. Because of that, you get a, a really instant boost of energy from them and mental clarity as well, especially if you're fat adapted and you regularly practice uh, ketosis. Because they uh, can be used straight away without any digestion they can also jump start ketosis so if you're looking at um, you know if you just had a, a carb up day or you've just done a load of exercise and had carbs afterwards and you want to get back into ketosis, ketosis quickly mtc oil is a really good way of doing that so you can have it on a salad you don't have to have it in a coffee but having a coffee in the morning with mtc oil added because it's flavorless and because if you use mtc oil rather than just coconut oil it's not particularly greasy and doesn't really affect the coffee much it's kind of a no-brainer. So next ingredient is grass-fed butter. So I've put the UK folk are lucky here because Dave Asprey is from uh, America. I think he lives in Canada now, but over there they have massive issues with getting grass-fed butter, grass-fed steak, and that kind of thing. Over here in the UK, most butter, especially if it's labelled organic, is going to be grass-fed. So I personally use a Sainsbury's organic um, grass-fed butter works really well but there's also the, the famous Kerrygold that Dave Asprey uses um, and a bunch of other butters as well most supermarket will have their own kind of version so then it goes into you know how how in depth you want to go with this but I'd suggest that the Sainsbury's organic stuff is fine for most people um, why butter so it's a good healthy source of fat and as you can see from this slide there's a whole bunch of things uh, within it that you know, it can be difficult, especially with the likes of K2, vitamin K2, it can be difficult difficult to get elsewhere. If you're taking a multivitamin or you're taking a supplement such as Nutrients, which has a AM and PM formula um, with all your vitamins and minerals, that 
ness potentially can come down um, and the amount of grass-fed butter that you'd put in your coffee might reduce. But when you mix these three ingredients, stick it in a blender, you essentially blend it all up and you get a nice frothy coffee. Um, so adding more of it can actually make it taste better. So how do you make it? I'm not going to um, labour this point too much, but I would always go with beans over already ground coffee and you should never be using instant coffee. It tastes like crap and it's not good for your mental performance. So grinding your beans, um, generally you'd recommend about four minutes to uh, soak your beans in your hot water in your cafeteria. Filter that out. I then add my coffee, one tablespoon MCC and one tablespoon of butter to a blender. I've got this little ninja blender works really well um, the blend techs are obviously the best on the market but you don't need to be spending that kind of money to get a similar kind of effect a little ninja blender will do a similar job for you blend it for about 30 seconds i do it in pulses just to make sure that the fat and the butter don't jump up to the top of the blender and just stick up there then you've got the options to add some uh, chocolate or vanilla extract or both so i tend to um, get a bit bored with just the coffee on its own because I'm having it every morning, it's part of my morning routine. So I add a bit of chocolate or a little bit of vanilla extract. Um, you're gonna need a tiny bit of vanilla extract to get the effect, but it tastes amazing. And there you go, pour it into a mug and drink while feeling epic. So that's how I feel when I'm smashing this stuff down. You can also stick it into a flask, for example, and have it at lunch as well. So what does it taste like? It, I understand that it sounds sounds like it's going to be rank you expect this big yellow glooping blob at the top of your drink and that's what happens when you don't have a reasonable blender and you don't blend it for long enough um, but when you do blend it it gets almost milky and creamy and looks and tastes a bit like a latte it's one of those you've got to go and try it before you dismiss it really so some eight conclusions it's quick and easy to make um, some people complain about the cost, but if you use it instead of breakfast in the morning, it's going to be cheaper than a bowl of cereal to produce. If you're into ketosis and intermittent fasting, then it's a great start to the day. Yeah, I find, and you know, I can only talk about this personally. Uh, there's other testaments, testimonials online for bulletproof coffee, but I find it does improve my mental focus. And if you're using decent coffee beans, upgraded, or for example, the grumpy mule stuff as well, you don't get a crash. And you can just smash it for, it, if I, I'm up at five, I have a coffee about quarter past, I get to about 10 or 11 before I start feeling any bit of slowdown from this, um, where I tend to have a quick break and then have an early lunch. So if you're getting up later, it could be two or three in the afternoon you could be getting to um, without any crash and by, with a pretty good mental focus. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it and leave a comment. And if you want to hear more about biohacking and how uh, apehacking.com helps you turbocharge your brain, strengthen your body, improve your sleep and reduce your stress, click the big old subscribe button. Cheers, guys.